Okay, this is part 17 of the basic Python programming tutorial for Blender users. And in the previous lesson, we were looking at modifying all the parameters of the particle system so you could do kind of some kind of fun stuff with it. And we were going to use the rotation of these objects in this lesson, but we're going to step back just for a moment and take a look at uh, dictionaries. And that way we can kind of organize our variables and we can get access to data across different files. Because if you remember from this previous a lesson here we were looking in the fountain design I had to redefine the variable 2 pi within this routine sometimes I want that sometimes I don't but I it didn't know about it from the main fountain design program that was down here where I had it defined so I had to define it separately so in this case we're gonna just use two separate files file 1 and file 2 and I'm going to define things differently. Now in this case I'm using variables called, these are actually variables, pi over 4, pi over 2, pi over 6, pi over 8, like this. And I've just kind of bundled them together because what they all represent are radian angles. And so I've kind of bundled all these together as a radian angle inside a dictionary. And the form is you type the name of the dictionary that you want. This would be like your Spanish dictionary, your French dictionary, your German dictionary. So that's your dictionary name. And then to create the dictionary, it's a pair of values. And you start it with equals with an open brace here. This is important. It's not a parentheses. And then the name of your variable has to be in single quotes like this. So the name of the variable is pi over 4, like that within single quotes. You follow it by this colon like that and then you define the value well I could just say pi over 4 this could be equal to you know 0 0.785 just a value like that but instead I just defined it as pi divided by 4.0 that's that's nice you can define it as an equation within the dictionary itself and then another term within the dictionary to, to make another one I have to separate it by a comma here is the comma and then I define pi over 2 is the name to be equal to pi over 2 there's pi over 6 is equal to pi over 6 another comma and then I close it with the curly brace at the end like that there there's my curly brace all right so this is all now part of a dictionary called radian angles so if I was just to go print radian angles to the console here which I'll do and I'll run it I'll look at it it shows me that I have these values in the dictionary pi over 2, pi over 8, pi over 6, and pi over 4. What? Then why it's printing it in out of order? I don't know why it's printing it out of order. It shouldn't be printing that out of order. I must have done something earlier. That is really goofy. It usually prints it in direct order. Well, we won't worry about that for the moment. That was something I must have done. All right, so let's, let's comment that out. Let's just print pi over 4. Well, of course we know that is the value of pi 3.14 divided by 4. It's going to be 0 0.785. Let's run that. And that is, there it is, 0 0.785. So it prints the value of that variable within the dictionary. So now I have access to it from within this file number 1. Okay, so now let's, let's say you've named it, well here's how you access it. Let's go over to file number 2. So in, within file 2, I have to import file number 1. And then instead of, you notice in file 1, to access it, I just print, I print the name of it, followed by, uh, the name of the dictionary, followed by, here's how you access it, right here. The open square bracket, and then the name of the variable within single parentheses like that and then a closed square bracket so this is the this is actually the way you access an entity within the dictionary like this radian angles open bracket pi over 4 closed bracket and the parentheses are just for the print statement so knowing that then if we look back at file 2 it's basically I'm printing the exact same thing here except I have to prepend it with file.1 because I've imported file.1 and so now it should know about it here when I run the script. I'll run it a couple times so we can see it. And there it is. So now I have access to the same data within this file as well. All right. So then if you were to go change, say, for instance, the value within that dictionary, then you would change it 
over here when you access it like that. Now, the one important thing to be careful of when you do it when you so when you create the file, you notice how I was saying sometimes when I keep it when I I save it as a .py extension when I want to reuse it and, and otherwise sometimes I do I don't put that .py extension like in this case. However, if I was to go into here over to file one and I was to not put a .py extension and if I was to save it like this and run it okay I'll go over to file two and now I run the script let's see where's my console window and that kid didn't run it it actually no it actually finds it let's try pi over two oh well and it still finds it. Well, I'm not sure it always finds it. That's just something to be dependent. If you have a problem with not importing sometimes, just you might try adding a .py extension to the file. I've run into that <laughs> effect before. Obviously, I can't even create a bug. That's amazing. All right. Well, anyway, I just wanted to kind of give you a heads up on the dictionaries because they're really valuable and I use them extensively, but I don't use in the main design. You notice how I from the very beginning I kept this very simplified at the beginning and we use this global variable within one function here so we could access it within this other function down here but I don't always here's my magenta color like that but I use global sparingly across files and in general to organize things like even here notice these are all 2pi based variables. Well, we could put these into a dictionary and we could put them into, um, you know, a dictionary instead of calling radian angles, we call them, you know, full, I don't know, some full circle radian angles or something like that. Because, you know, there's a movement out there where some people prefer to use, you know, 2 pi divided by 4 would be the same as pi divided by 2, but some people actually prefer using 2 pi as your primary reference. And it does have it makes logical sense in a lot of ways as well. So you might just put these values in a dictionary and then call it the two pi radian angles and the other one maybe the pi radian angles or something like that. So you can kind of keep them organized when you put them in things like that or, or you're using them and they have a reference to that. Okay well that's it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson.